I hope everyone is doing well. Now, I've recently uh, fixed my VR headset, so I've kind of been uh, inside of VR chat again and kind of making my own uh, models once again. And so with this, I have now created a new version of my uh, Autodynamic Bones plugin, which I'm now calling Omega Bones. This will just be an update on the already uh, existing Omega Bones uh, uh, plugin that I've already got on my uh, Gumroad. Um, so anyone who's already purchased the last version, they don't need to purchase it again. Just download the new file if you want to use it. Simple as that. So uh, in this video, I'm just going to go over how everything works. Um, so it's a lot easier to get things started. And we now have presets. And these presets can be saved. They can be shared with other players. Um, and yeah, basically, you'll never lose your settings again. Now, with these presets, we do now have curves that you can change, and they will be saved as well. So, uh, how you get started, you once you finish up setting your character or your materials or, you know, any animations you want, um, where your VRC avatar descriptor is, you want to add component, and you want to add Omega Bones. Now, the first thing you will notice is this plugin will no longer require you to press all those buttons at the start to assign animators and fix variables and all that. It now does that automatically. As soon as you add this script, it, it does that. So it removes that entire step um, uh, f from uh, the, the user needing to do it. Um, so a lot more simpler. Now, um, the next thing is we have kind of removed uh, all those fields, all those uh, tags for hands, heads, whatever. It's now kind of automatically searching for those parts uh, depending on the name that you input. So, for example, if we want to set up some breast collider, hair collider, uh, sorry, if we want to set up some uh, breast jiggle, some hair jiggle, and, and butt jiggle, uh, let's just go ahead and add three fields here. Now, we'll say hair. Uh, we'll say boob, and we'll say ass. Now, these are basically what's contained in the words. So, for example, the plugin will uh, go check hair. It'll say, okay, hair, we want to look inside the head for that. So, we go here, and it kind of scans until it finds something with the word uh, hair contained within it. So, in this case, this is my hair here. It contains the word hair, and so it's going to assign that as our hair object. And the same thing for the boob and the ass. So you do want to kind of uh, make sure that the uh, the name is correct. For example, this is our boob here. We have boob underscore root. And uh, so we just put boob there. Um, now, it doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. The plugin automatically converts everything to lowercase. It, so it'll grab this uh, part here, for example, and make it boob underscore root all lowercase. And so you don't have to worry about capitalizing or anything. Just put it in as all uppercase if you want or all lowercase. It does not matter. Um, and the next thing is we just need to give it a preset. And this is the new preset system that I showed you at the start where you can just create your own presets and share them to other players. Uh, super easy to create one. You can right click an empty area, go create. Omega Bones, and you can either create a new Bone preset or a new Collider preset. So, let's just go ahead and assign all those. So, we want to assign the ass to ass, the boobs to boob, and the hair to hair. Now, if I click Update, you can see that we've now got all our uh, hair, our boob, and our uh, butt bones uh, set up. And again, if we wanted to change anything, we can go to our preset. And just for an example, so I can show you, let's just make our radius very large for our hair. And if we just click update, uh, you can see that all those radiuses for the hair have just become extremely large. So there's no longer any settings within the script itself. They are all now presets, basically. Uh, so we'll just add that back. I think that was the scale. Yep. Okay, so now we have our colliders. Our colliders work slightly differently. You can have custom objects for colliders, but if you specifically want um, colliders for the head, uh, for your chest, uh, for your hips, and for your hands, um, now do keep in mind that the hand colliders, they're not necessary. Uh, VRChat does that automatically, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, 
but just in case you do, I'll show you how. So basically, you want to make sure that you have the exact names here. Head, hips, uh, chest. And for my model specifically, my hands are not called hands, they are called wrists. So if I want to do that, I'll just put in wrist. And uh, once again, we need to drag in our collider preset. I'll just quickly show you what this contains. Oops. Uh, so the collider preset has a radius, it has a position offset, and it has uh, some rotations that you can play around with. So now if we click update, you can see that our hands have colliders, our uh, hips have colliders, our chest has colliders, and our head has colliders. Now, if you wanted the collider to be higher, then you would, of course, uh, change the position and all that fantasy stuff. But I'm just, uh, I'm just here to demonstrate for now. Um, so, <clears throat> just a quick thing. Let's, for example, say we want a custom collider. So I've just got this object that's floating above my head here. I've just called it Col One. Super easy to add that here. We just again add another field. And we just type col1. We click update, and you can see that that has now given us a collider on that game object. Now, uh, not all settings have been added yet. I'm still going to be implementing the uh, the toggles for you know checking if the specific bone is grabbable and all, all and all that. So that will be coming at a later date. But for now, I'll be re releasing the the plugin as is, uh, so you guys can start using it and tell me. Uh, what you think, if it needs updates, if there's any bugs, you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, now we can basically just go in and test out the bones. And, you know, it was uh, pretty simple. You have the, the, the breast working, you have the hair working, uh, you have the butt working, and just like last time, you can do all of this um, in editor. Uh, however, it works a little bit better because before you had to copy the uh, the script itself in order to save these settings. Because what we can do now, for example, we can add some spring and just to make it, you know, a, a noticeable change. If we click update, uh, we can see those changes. Now, if we close this. Those bones will revert back to the original state. However, because we now have these presets, we don't need to uh, change any settings. These presets, those settings that we just changed, they've stayed there. So all we need to do is just click update. And that's it. Now that is a permanent f uh, fix. Um, changes like that. And again, I'll just show you. This time I'll just change the... Uh, the collider radius, just so it's a little bit, little bit no, more noticeable. I cannot speak. Uh, so we click update. You can see our colliders are very large now. And if we get out of play mode, you'll see that our colliders went back to normal. However, because we now have this pre, uh, preset system that saves regardless of if you're in play mode or not, we can just click update. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this new iteration of the plugin. Hopefully the preset system uh, now will help you guys out uh, just a little bit more because you don't have to keep re-inputting your settings. This way you can create all your settings once and keep reusing them. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your continued support uh, with my Autodynamic Burns plugin. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.